Alright, so today I'm going to check out AWS Cloud Quest, Cloud Prediction, it's a game um, that AWS recently released on me, and where you are employed by a new city and you're AWS Solutions Manager, I guess, with limited Cloud Practitioner knowledge. Um, I've never tried it, so I'm going to explore this game. I did go into it just to for like a second and I did put in my name um, and I saw a gorilla running away but I never really actually played it. Let's see. So from here, customize the avatar, put in your name and things like that. Um, and let's go into Basic cloud solutions using AWS services. You will learn about AWS cloud concepts, common use cases, billing and pricing models, security concepts, and business impacts. Solutions architects, serverless developer, machine learning, security. So I guess these are the goals and assignments. So if I look at this, solutions architect role is part of an individual or team subscription in AWS Scale Builder. Subscribe to get access to all the roles and other subscriber only benefits. Subscribe and get access. Restart required. Up to Go resume. 
Okay, let's full screen again. <laughs> that's not that player intuitive. Um, is there like a, a north facing thing? That's our device. Okay, route and go. Cloud computing essentials. You got a new assignment. Look for cloud computing essentials on your assignment list. Welcome and hello to the city. It's a pleasure to meet you. Cloud is part of Cloud Computing Essentials, I guess. Rewards plus Amazon Web Services, 100 gems, three customization items, 10 Amazon S3 services, Amazon S3. So it's an S3 assignment, I believe. And there's a currency. Okay. Next. Hi, it's nice to meet you too. I am happy to join the team. So how can I help you? Our data center powers most of the technical infrastructure here, but the drawback is that it takes months to procure and configure servers. That is a pretty common problem when provisioning your own infrastructure. Have you considered AWS cloud infrastructure? It will definitely increase your agility. Interesting. I have heard a lot about the cloud, but I am not sure I understand the entire concept. Cloud computing on AWS provides access to technology services like compute power storage and databases. Resources are available on demand and you pay only for what you use. The cloud seems promising, but how can it improve my agility? How many days does it take to bring a server online? <coughs> with AWS, you can deploy a server in minutes at a fraction of the cost of traditional servers. With this type of flexibility, you can completely tr transform your operations. Well, fast. well, if it is that fast, I have a request. We have a web page that predicts the wave sizes at the beach each day. Surfers check for big waves and families want to know when the waves are lower for safety reasons. Unfortunately, we are facing some challenges keeping those servers up and running. Is this a static web page? I'm not sure what that means. Let me check my IT notes from I check my notes from IT. It says here that it is a static website. Does that help? Okay, got it. Since you're running a static web page, we can migrate it to an Amazon S3 bucket and enable static website hosting. Nice. I'll ask the AT, IT department to share the technical details with you. Can you start now? Residents are avoiding the beach because the forecast web page is down. Accept. Solution annotations. Create an S3 bucket and configure it for static website hosting. Great. Can't wait to see the new solutions. Okie dokie. So just going to make an S3 bucket and enable static website hosting. Welcome to Solution Center. It's my pleasure to guide you through the solution building process. Solution Center steps. One, learn. Two, plan. Three, practice. Four, do it yourself. The Solution Center is split into four sections that contain descriptions, details, and guidance for each solution you will build. In the learn section, you will navigate through an interactive diagram of the solution's architecture, watch videos about the AWS services related to the solution. Two, in the plan section, you will review a breakdown of your building tasks. In the practice section, you will build a portion of the solution using a step-by-step -step guide, review important concepts related to each guided step. In the DIY section, you will complete the solution independently to reinforce what you learned, validate your completed solution. Okay, now we're in a different UI from the map. Cloud Computing Essentials. Okay, this is the learn section. Here you can interact with the diagram of the solution you will build. Migrate an existing website to static hosting on Amazon S3 in order to improve web application reliability. Video concepts, S Amazon S3, AWS. This solution uses an Amazon S3 bucket to host a static web page. Um, so I guess if I click this, it'll take me to a video. Or not. Okay, so I want to say it's okay. So we have the AWS Cloud, we have an S3 bucket. S3 bucket, we have the index.html. As well as waves.html. Oh, we're gonna rename that to waves.html. Um, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Okay, Island Web Portal. And 
Batman HTML, then HTTP GET, daily updates to the island IT department. Okay. These navigation buttons cycle through the solution diagram to explain how it works. This is step one. Click the arrow on the right to move to the next step. Step two. A new panel appears as you cycle through step two. Please read the explanation, then move to the next step. The static website, the static web page hosted on Amazon S3 is configured to show the daily predictions of beach wave sizes. Files that support the web page functionally, such as client-side scripts and style sheets, are stored inside an S3 bucket together with an HTML file. Okay, I can't click anything. Okay, next. Step 3 continues the solution architecture explanation. Please read it, then move to the next step. Each day, a file that contains the hourly wave size predictions is sent by the island IT department to an S3 bucket. Okay, so new data is sent each day to the S3 bucket. Next. Great, you have reached the last step in the solution walkthrough. Next, you can watch videos about the AWS services within the solution. Four, visiting the island web portal triggers a get request from the portal to the waves. HT waves.html page hosts on Amazon S3, which displays the forecast data. Okay, next. Click the video concepts icon to view the video list. I hope it doesn't go to a different tab. Okay, just a uh, new. Okay, it stays in the same tab. Okay, video category. So if I click one, it shows all the videos in this lesson, I guess. Amazon S3, overview, Amazon S3, more features, blah, blah, blah. There's six videos in this. Click play. Choose a video from the left. Amazon S3 overview. Amazon Simple Storage Service. Amazon so S3 is an object storage service. An object consists of data and metadata. The metadata is a set of name value pairs that describe the object. Buckets are containers for objects stored in S3. An object is uniquely it. identified within a bucket by a key. The object may store and down without upfront investments so or resource is... procurement cycles. So... Amazon S3 is designed for 11 nines of data durability so this program, because it uh, automatically creates and stores copies of all S3 objects across multiple systems. It's almost like a training game. This means uh, your data is available when needed and protected against failures, errors, and threats. For Amazon S3 uh, also offers unmatched security, and compliance, without, and audit capabilities. I mean, it secures your data from unauthorized access with encryption features and access. Amazon S3 more features removes your data based on changing access for archived data. S3 lifecycle PI define alerts sets of object data instead of the entire object which can be up to 5 terabytes. It's pretty in-depth about S3. Amazon Simple Storage Service Amazon S3. Access is resource-based policies and user policies. Resource-based access policies that you attach to users. There's a legacy access control mechanism. If... As a general rule, AWS recommends using S3 bucket policies. First, let's look at resource-based other... access and the type of access that access permissions to the S3 bucket and all objects in it. Here is an example of S3 bucket policy. All S3 operator. AWS. It allows the list bucket to actions so that applications can write and read. Amazon Simple Storage Service, Amazon S3, I'll give you an example to explain. Amazon S3 supports the folder concept as a means of grouping objects. Well, it's For example, dry, Formant supports at least three fixes in an Amazon throughput. Now, let's look at S3 simplifies the migration of on-premises analytics workloads by removing the need to make changes to applications. You get, put, object, any substance consistency is great for data lake. Types of cloud computing. Main cloud computing models. First, let's look at infrastructure as a service. Infrastructure. Okay. Oh, so how do I get In addition, this? you can run code without provisioning. Let's go back here. Nice, you can return to the video section later. Now let's move to the plan section. Click plan. This is the plan section. It details the building activities that are required for the solution. Here you will review the tasks you must complete in the practice and DIY sections. Practice lab goals, step-by-step -step guided learning, create an S3 bucket, configure S3 web hosting, upload lab files to S3 bucket, DIY goals, build on what you have learned, rename index HTML to waves.html. Okay, next. This eye-shaped icon is a toggle that details the practice goals and highlights the portion of the solution that is built using guided steps. Click it. Did you notice the only part of the diagram is highlighted? 
That's because this is only a portion of the solution that is built that is built using practice lab steps. Next. I sh this eye-shaped icon details the DIY goals and highlights the portion of the diagram that you build independently without guided steps. Click it. Nice, the solution only requires renaming a file hosted on S3, but expect more challenging assignments as you progress. Okay. Now that your plan is set, let's go to the practice section. Let's practice. Okay. Loading. Okay, it's a lab. This is the practice section. Here you will build the first part of the solution using an AWS account that has been prepared for you. Okay, so it's a sandbox loaded into this app. <laughs> You'll be provided an AWS account to complete all the assignments, all assignments, my files, steps. So I'm gonna press next. Let's do anything. Click Start Lab to provision your new AWS account. Excellent. Preparing your AWS environment can take several minutes. So let's continue to explore the practice and DIY sections of the Solution Center. The practice section contains lab steps and micro concepts on the left panel, and corresponding images that display on the right panel. So this kind of looks like the like Google Skills Builder their labs next in the practice section you will build a portion of the solution using guided steps once done go to the DIY section to complete the solution using the same AWS environment next let's move on to the DIY section click DIY This is a DIY section. It details what you must do to complete the remaining portion of the solution. Validation form. Okay, next. The left panel describes your DIY tasks and how your solution is validated. Rename index.html to waves.html. The practice section for this solution will aid you in creating an Amazon S3 static website. In the DIY section, you must rename index.html to OK. OK, this is getting repetitive. After completing the DIY activity, validate your solution by inputting the correct criteria. Type, your, type or paste the name of the Amazon S3 bucket. You create it into the field, then click validate. Our servers will test the static web page within your bucket. If validation is successful, you will receive a success message signaling that your solution is complete. Let's check on your AWS account in the practice section. Let's click practice. I feel like this is Amazon AWS's attempt to go into the metaverse with this game because you're kind of controlling your character in like a 3D environment. You get to even ride a skateboard and you're customizing and then you're doing these labs as like a game. It's pretty cool. Okay, when your AWS account is ready, open AWS console will appear. Click open AWS console. Clicking open AWS console will open the console on a new browser tab on your device. Okay. Allow pop-ups, then click open AWS console to launch a new console tab. Follow the practice DIY sections to build your solution. I will return once validation is done. Good luck. Uh, so it opens a new tab. I was hoping it does everything here. Okay. console Virginia AWS lab user as the user okay so it wants me to go to s3 change the name from index.html to waves.html so let's go to buckets there's only one bucket in this region to list objects. Okay. Oh, no, no. It wants me to do that. I 
access error. Okay, so let's, let's go to I I am. So, so actually before I go to I am, let's see. Let's go here. Step one. Cloud computing essentials. Review the lab objectives in the consequence field. Click start lab to version your environment and click AWS console to begin. Please follow the lab instructions carefully and use the arrows below to navigate between concepts. In this lab, you will create an Amazon S3 bucket and enable, enable static website hosting. Secure an S3 bucket using a bucket policy. Okay. So I have to create a new bucket, I guess. Cloud computing step two, click the lab files tab to download the lab code.zip file. Click the download icon. The file will be downloaded to your local computer. Go to next step. All the code required for this lab is provided to you. Okay, lab files. Click. Download. Lab code. Oh, let's make a new folder. AWS Cloud Quest. Okay, save. Computing essentials. Double click the zipped folder to extract the content, then review the files downloaded. You will see five below. See the five files listed below. Index name, style, target, policy. Next step. Go to the console page tab, then in the services search field, type S3, S3 search results. Go to the next step. Create bucket. Note if you see a note about temporarily re enabling the previous Amazon S3 console, click switch to new console. Next step, I'll create a new bucket. Type a unique name for your bucket under AWS region. Please choose US East 1, North Virginia. Please ensure that US East 1 is selected under AWS region. Scroll down, go to the next step. Object ownership section, choose ACLs enabled. Ackles. Under object ownership, choose object writer. Scroll down, go to the next step. Click to deselect all public access. Click to acknowledge. Click the acknowledge at the bottom of the page. Click go to the next step. Scroll to the default encryption section. Under server side encryption, choose enable. Default, except default for the encryption key type. Go to create bucket. Go to the next step. All right. So let's try it. All right, we're gonna create a new bucket. AWS Cloud Quest Lab 1. Apples enabled. Object writer. Uncheck. I acknowledge. Did they say anything about bucket versioning? Enable. Super side encryption. Enable. S3 managed keys, probably, right? Yep. They never said anything about. Got it. Create bucket. Okay, so now I'm assuming I can go into this bucket that I just made and then well I made it in Northern Virginia. It just says global because I'm on S3 right now. Upload <coughs> Do I have to unzip? Cloud Quest. Um, yeah, it's just gonna upload the zip file. That's not what I want. Remove this. Go find them. Go to downloads. Database Cloud Quest.
zip and lab code. Okay, so lab files. I have all five of these. All right, all right. Standard. Okay, upload. All right, let's go back to the directions. Okay. So to create a bucket, unique bucket name, yada yada yada. Click to view details. I did that. Okay, go to upload. Did that. Click add files. All windows. You may see a blinking notification on the menu bar. Blah. Choose four files listed below that you previously downloaded. Um, why is it four files? Index main style target. Index main style sorry, policy. I don't know. Okay, whatever. Review to verify that all the files have been uploaded. Click close. Go to the next step. In the under section, choose index HTML. Click the actions drop down menu. Review the available options. You will see different options to manage your objects such as rename, copy, or download. Go to the next step. Click properties. Go to the next step. Oops. Clicking it will go to what? Okay, it wouldn't tell me to click it. I just want to know. Check actions. Rename object. That was the one. Properties. Properties go to the next step. Okay, so. I know how to do it, but that's not what I was going to do with the properties. Go to the next step. Static website hosting. Static website hosting, edit, enable. Host a static website. HTML next Wrong page. I don't have to do anything else. Okay. Next up HTML changes. Nice. Okay. Next, go to the permissions tab. Review the block public access. To verify that block on public access is off. Section, click edit, go to the next step. Bucket policy next. It's off. Bucket policy next. Edit. Okay. Next. And click the icon to copy your buckets ARN. Delete the content in the policy editor section. Go to the next step. Copy ARN. Delete. Okay. Well, there's nothing here, so I don't have to. Okay. Um, okay. I'm in bucket policy, right? I'm in bucket policy. I'm in bucket policy. Okay. Okay. Open the policy text file on your local computer, then review the content. This is the policy text file that you downloaded in the previous step. The policy 
Congrats to S3. Get object permission to any public anonymous users. Replace the your bucket ARM placeholder with the bucket ARM you copied earlier. Review to ensure that the ARM ends with slash star. Okay. So policy. Field updated content of the policy text file and paste in the policy editor section review to ensure the AR ends with slash star. Next step slash star. Any static web policy. Get object allow. Okay, save change it. Step three, click save changes, ignore the error alert. Go to the next step. Was there an error alert? Okay. API response. Okay, I can't go to the next step. Sure, but first you'll have to unlock your device. <laughs> My Google phone went off. Honestly, I have no idea what's wrong. Okay. <laughs> okay. Next. Properties, scroll to static website, scroll to static website hosting, and go to the next step. Properties, scroll to static website hosting. Bucket host, review the settings to verify that bucket hosting is listed under hosting type. Click icon to copy your bucket website endpoint. Go to the next step. Enable bucket website endpoint copy. Okay. Open a new window or browser tab. Then paste your Amazon S3 bucket website endpoint. You copy it to the address bar. Press the enter key to load the site. Go to the next step. Okay. So that's the endpoint, not secure. Beach wave conditions. Okay. So it is working. Last step. Congratulations, you've completed the practice section. Go to the DIY section to complete the solution. I never changed the name to waves.html. Okay. is ready. Wasn't that the lab? Paste or type the validation criteria below. Rename index.html to waste.html. Okay, so I did that and now 
Oh, I'm supposed to change the name. Right? Oh, yeah, I mean, DIY activity. Okay, our test servers will send an HTTP GET request to the default page in your Amazon S3 bucket. You must rename index HTML to waves.html. If waves HTML exists within your Amazon S3 bucket, validation will succeed. Hint use action menu to rename index HTML to waves HTML, then type your bucket name into the validation field. Okay. So I'll scroll up and go to objects. I'm gonna copy my bucket name here. Go to actions, rename object, rename index.html to waves.html. Save changes. Okay, don't I have to change the default page? I guess not. Yes, not. All right, let's go back. Uh, bucket name, validate. Validate solution. You did it. You, you create a valid Amazon S3 bucket with a static website and waves HTML file. I guess created. Now return to the city and give your customer the good news. You did it. Click exit to leave the solution center, then go speak to Major Jack again to collect your rewards. Okay, so that was the first lab slash game. Very elementary, but as the first lesson, it's pretty well made. Step by step lab uh, for complete newbies. I guess newbies can follow it as well. Click icon over Mayor Jack to deliver your assignment. Click. Thanks for providing a quick and simple solution. You're welcome. It looks like the beach crowd is retiring. Yes, the beach is back. I'm thinking of adding a lighthouse to the pier. Please help me choose the style. Next. Yes, the beach is back. I'm thinking of adding a lighthouse to the pier. Please help me choose the style. I read that twice. This is kind of like a, a Sims feature. Uh, what do I want? I guess it doesn't matter, but I'll click the first one. Collect. Collecting the lighthouse. Stars Here are your rewards. Gems 100. Reputation points. Customization points. Okay. X. You leveled up. Your player level increased to two. Okay, so it has the gaming aspect of it leveling up makes you want to learn more and more <laughs> you've reached a new builder level your builder level increased to oh yeah you unlocked drone capture zap blue drones to get aws service cards use service cards to complete architecture challenges Hello, hi again. If you want, if you would like to revisit the solution, click to open your XR device and click more. Try it, XR device. More. Skill path progress. All I did was S3 static website and it gave me all of these. Okay, well, these are my rules. Damage reputation level, reputation points by service, Amazon S3, yeah, builder level, solutions built. Okay. The city's web portal needs to migrate to each wave size prediction page to AWS to improve reliability. Alright, so. Okay, badges. Challenges. None. Server service cars, knowledge library. These are the videos in the lesson. X, um, I don't know about revisiting. And there's my next goal, I guess. Drone capture. <laughs> drone down, navigate directly to drone, route and go. 
I'm the big old drone. What am I supposed to do? Question, which statement about the Amazon S3 data consistency model is correct? So S3 provides read after write consistency for puts every new objects in S3 buckets in one region. So I guess if you capture a drone, you get like a little quiz. Amazon S3 provides strong read after write consistency for put and delete operations in all AWS regions. S3 offers eventual consistency for overwrite puts and deletes in all regions. So if you watched the video, you would have learned. So read a hint, click the question mark for help. Does it go to the videos? Oh, it goes to docs, AWS docs. So if you didn't know, and then let's provide strong read and write consistency for put and delete requests. So the answer is on the first sentence. Correct. This card is for you. Amazon RDS, a collection of managed services that makes it simple to set up, operate, scale databases in the cloud. Choose from seven popular engines. Okay, so it's a card. I don't know what you do with the cards, but it boosts my reputation. Okay, so the so drones are one of the questions, okay? Tap yellow drones to get an architecture puzzle. Use your AWS service cards to complete the challenge. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to stop this recording um, and then revisit this again at a later time. Cool. It's kind of fun. <laughs> In the metal, metal, metaverse, AWS metaverse.